how model steam engine governors work. Centrifugal governors that regulate the speed of steam engines are quite simple yet clever devices. In this video I show how they work, starting with this one fitted to my Stuart Victoria horizontal mill engine. And here we have a fairly typical example of a centrifugal governor. And it's where the phrase balls out comes from. That's nothing to do with adjusting your attire. The faster that the governor spins, the balls move outwards or into centrifugal force. And where the balls are relative to the speed of the rotation is adjustable by the nuts that you see on the spring. In this part of the clip, when I move it manually, you can see exactly what's happening. And here you can also see that the governor moves a lever which is connected to this thing. This is on top of the steam chest, or in this case, compressed air is admitted to the engine. When I first got this engine, I disabled the governor by changing the position of the shaft inside the valve. Because for the application that I require, the governor was unnecessary. The shaft that I'm adjusting goes into the valve block and as it rotates it moves a butterfly type valve, very similar to the ones you find in carburetors. As this butterfly valve is moved by the action of the governor it increases or decreases the amount of steam or compressed air that gets into the steam chest. I haven't run this steam engine for a while and it's a bit gummed up with oil so I gave it a quick squirt with some WD-40 which will definitely make the governor parts move a bit more smoothly. In this clip I'm adjusting the position of the butterfly valve relative to the control arm from the governor. Once I got it right I tightened the screw. I know everything looks a bit loose and the part that's bubbling is the gland and I think I need to tighten this up. I also think I'll fit a silicone o-ring instead of the graphited yarn that looks very messy. Here is the engine running with the governor actually working and as you can see the faster it goes the further out the balls go owing to centrifugal force and the mechanism in turn moves the control arm which is connected to a rod which in turn is connected to the other control arm that operates the valve on the top of the steam chest. When I interfere with this process by moving it manually, you can see what happens. Here it is in slow motion. You don't really need to fit a governor on a small engine because they are indeed small engines. But if you have a steam engine where the flywheel weighs up to 32 tonnes, imagine what would happen if the engine was running under load, powering all the machines in the mill and the ropes on the drum broke. Suddenly the engine would speed up radically and that would be quite serious. But the real purpose of a governor is to keep the engine at a fixed speed relative to the load. I'll demonstrate this shortly. This governor is quite small. But these governors I'm about to show you are much smaller and very suitable for a variety of tiny engines. They're made by a Chinese company called Microcosm and the details are on screen. The website is well worth a look. In this view, as I move the balls out, you can see how it works. It lifts a lever, which in turn lifts a plunger which closes or opens the aperture where the steam or air goes into the valve. I can think of a few steam engines where this would be quite good. It's fully self-contained and it just bolts down to the baseboard. The question is, does it work and is it effective in this very small size? I'm going to connect some compressed air to it to find out. I can't really spin the drive shaft by hand to make the balls move out. But when I move the balls manually, pardon the expression, you can hear by the sound of the air that it works fine. I thought some lubrication might be in order, so I'm using WD-40 for a bit of short-term lubrication. I didn't bother speaking over the test because, as you can hear, 
When I move the balls in an outward direction away from each other, that in turn moves the valve, which stops the air from coming out of the pipe at the other side. It's altogether a very well made piece of equipment. I also have a different type of microcosm governor. This one has three balls, which is better really because the thing is very, very small and the extra mass of a third ball makes it easier to move the valve. You see this in full-size practice. Plus, the balls don't need to go quite as far out as with a two-ball governor. So this type of governor is useful in a confined space. This one has a valve down the centre and it works more or less the same as the other but I think this is more of a needle valve. As I pull the balls outwards it cuts off the air. And because of the increased mass of the three balls this governor works, well, just about when I spin it by using my hand on the shaft. I think I prefer the design of this governor mainly as often in full-size practice they are mounted on top of a column and this would be very easy to create on a model using this particular type of governor. This definitely works. As I move the balls in an outward direction, the air from the outlet diminishes. It's difficult to tell what scale these are, because if you look at full-size governors, they do vary in size. There doesn't seem to be a hard and fast rule as to how big the governors are relative to the size of the engine. In this clip I've put them back in the plastic bags because I have no plans to do anything with them in the foreseeable future. To conclude this video I'm going to try and show the practical application of a governor. Here I'm using my hand to apply a load to the flywheel. If I suddenly remove the load the engine starts to speed up, the balls on the governor quickly move outwards, the lever moves and reduces the amount of compressed air allowed into the steam chest. After doing this, my hand was starting to get a bit sore, so I used the cloth, and with the cloth I could grip the flywheel more firmly. Here I'm showing a close-up view of what happens when I move the lever to regulate the amount of air that's going into the engine. And that is basically what a centrifugal governor is designed to do, albeit a bit slower. That's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.